Hi, and welcome. In this video, we're going to look at a tool called Medusa by one of my colleagues, Jonas Winter, and we can find it on GitHub under his account, Medusa. Medusa is a CLI that enables you to import and export key values from Walt in larger batches. So instead of only one key value, you can get a key and everything underneath it recursively. And you can also import more than one data at the time. So you can have a tree of data and import it, and it'll do it for you. We made this because we needed it, and uh, we're sharing it at, as open source. It was mainly uh, implemented by Jonas. I'm just helping out. Um, and in this video, I'm going to introduce you to Medusa. So it's not a deep dive with encryption and everything, but it's a getting started guide. So if we look at his uh, GitHub account under Medusa, we can see it has a logo and it has a table of content. And the way that you can use Medusa is there's, there's three ways you can, can configure it, basically. You can either create a file in your home folder under .medusa called config.yaml, where you have vault address, vault skip verify, and the vault token as you can see here. And then Medusa will use that. You can also create environment variables with these data, and that will supersede the file, the configuration file. Um, it's the same data. Or you can actually give it as parameters to Medusa, which again will supersede the uh, environment variables. So three ways and um, let's jump to a terminal and see it run in action so let me switch to a terminal so i cloned medusa and as you can see i don't have uh, the binary so let's build it and now i have medusa so that was easy you can also download a release from github uh, we have them for both Linux, Mac, and Windows. And if we run Medusa, it'll give us this help text. So one of the things we have in the repository is a startup script that we use in our pipeline. It's found under scripts, and you can see it has a script called start vault and stop vault. We use this to spin up a vault to run some tests with Medusa, and you can use this as well. So if we run start vault, it'll actually create certificates and use them so that you are communicating with HTTPS to this instance. And it'll create a container and it'll output uh, some information for you. It'll also unseal vault. You can see here that if you want to connect from this machine, you can, uh, you can use this command with Dogger or you can use this one if it's from another one. It's, the difference is the IP, right? So let's uh, see here. So um, we also have some test files, some very simple test files right now under test and under data. You can see we have these one, two, um, both a JSON and a YAML file. You can import both. If we look at one of these, oh, sorry, uh, let's take the YAML. It's a very simple data structure with uh, key values at the end on, on the leaves. And I would like to import this into Vault. So let's go back here and say Medusa, or oh, we can just do a clear. Medusa import and I know for a fact that we have a mount point or a secret engine called secret so I'll import it on that and uh, I don't have anything there so it'll have to be in the root and then we can uh, let's see test data I don't know why it's not auto completing but uh, let's uh, Like this, and then we can just take this, 
than this one. So I'm not giving it any parameters. I haven't set any environment variables, but the startup script will actually create a config file for me. So if I don't do anything else, it will use that. So if we run this, no such for, oh, it needs a dot. Yeah. So now we can see that it's connecting to Walt and it's using these paths and creating these things. So if we jump to Walt, it says that the connection is not private. That's fine because it's self-signed certificates and we don't trust those. We can then log in. Now, if we go back to the terminal, we can cat.medusa config yaml and we can see this is the file I was talking about. So if we copy the very secret token and then go back to the terminal or to the browser, sign in, we can see we have the secret engine and we have A, we have B, we have C and D and so on. And this is the data we just imported. So let's say that we have this data and we would like to extract it. Um, so we go back to here and we can then say Medusa, oh, Medusa export secret. And we can actually say A um, and then run this. And it'll give us the data here in uh, in a YAML format. You can also get it as a JSON if you want to. But let's say I don't really want this XA or F. So what I can do is I can say A, B, and then C. Then I only get this. I get everything from the top, so I know where in the document I want to do this or, or this belong. I can also import the file again in a different location if I want to. So you can import recursively if you want to. Um, and this is the basic usage of Medusa. So either if you want to make a backup or if you want to uh, get some portion of what out and use in an application, you can do that as well. Um, it does support encryption at rest so that you, when you save it to a file, it'll actually encrypt it, and then you can transport it and you can decrypt it again, so it's safe. So I I hope you liked this video, and um, if you want to see more of uh, Medusa, give it a like, and then we, we know we should make more videos. Thank you so much.